In today's video we're going to be diving into a whole bunch of Stellar Blade and this time I'm going to be delving into the beta skills, which ones you should be using, exactly what they're good for and why you may be picking some to use over the others. Honestly, after kind of testing this out for a whole lot longer than I probably should have, there was a few definite surprises. Now firstly, there's four beta skills for you to unlock in the game and these are going to be the triplet, the slash, the shockwave and the shield breaker. All absolutely amazing choices, but some are definitely better used on certain enemies. Now early on in the game, you'll only have access to the beta skills. The other two trees I haven't unlocked yet, but I believe one's going to be your burst skills, which you'll manage to get your hands on a little bit later on. And the last tree I'm not actually too sure about. It may well be something to do with the long range weaponry we've seen from some of the videos. But I've been testing these beta skills out and taking on a lot of enemies, including this guy right here. If you've played the demo, you will know Abaddon. He's an absolute savage, high health, high damage, and an absolute great test dummy to try out his skills on in order to see which ones work best and exactly what they do. Now, the first skill I'm going to be going over is the one you've got from the start, and that's going to be your triplet. This might be something you'll think that you could probably get better. It's an early unlock. Maybe you could use something else in its stead. Honestly, Triplet is one of the very best beta skills in the game and it does a ridiculous amount of damage in the right situations. You're going to want to fully upgrade this however in order to get the most from it like most of the other skills and then it's going to grant you a nice bit of stun but the main thing about this is that it's absolutely amazing at doing that balance damage when you do its follow up here at the end. Great for single targets, this is good against enemies but I wouldn't say it's probably the best choice, instead I'd say this is one of the very easiest and most powerful beta skills in the game if you're going to be using them on your elites or your toughest targets such as those bosses. This like I said does a nice bit of damage but the main thing about it is the fact that it takes away their stagger bar which is underneath their shield bar at the very bottom there if you want to know what those yellow dots are and dwindling this down into a kind of damned effect where you can do a crazy kind of fatal strike on them often dealing upwards of a third of their health whilst the single use of triplet isn't going to be the best overall on probably any single target if you manage to chain a few of these together, especially if you manage to put it together with some nice perfect parrying, allowing you to take out the toughest enemies a lot easier than you probably should do. Now over to our next beta skill, and this one was probably the biggest surprise to me. Slash is going to be your kind of AoE multi-target skill, and in most games you'd think that that would mean it gives a little bit less damage, but it's able to take out or at least hit multiple targets. Slash is actually a bit different in this game. Whilst it is still absolutely amazing at taking out smaller adds or hitting multiple targets at once in order to dwindle down their health, because of the actual way it's upgraded in your skill tree, it actually works out to be the very highest damage beta skill in the game. Anytime you want to hit a single target, you're going to charge it up, then follow up with its additional strike, and because its first strike is the one that takes off the shields, it means you do some crazy damage with its additional hit. In fact, when I was trying this on some of the single targets, they were just completely melting, and only when I got to Abaddon and started testing it out on the boss did I realise just how powerful this skill really is. The only thing this doesn't do is pretty much deplete any of the stagger bar, so if you're all about that, you'd stick with a triplet, but other than that, this is amazing for depleting shields, pretty much has the highest damage for taking off health for bosses, and overall is an absolute monster of a skill. Well worth using in any situation you can, especially when they're doing attacks on you, like the yellow ones that you really can't evade. Use this during those, take off a massive amount of damage, and have a lot of fun with it. Now over to probably the coolest beta skill in the game, and that's going to be your Shockwave. Shockwave is absolutely amazing if you want to get the preemptive on someone, you want to get in, get out, you want to take things out without them even knowing you're there, then Shockwave is going to be the one for you. Long range, you're able to hit enemies, it still does really nice damage, even though nowhere near as high as some of the others, but usually it's enough to take out most average targets that aren't elite or bosses. The cool thing about this, it's got a really nice amount of range on it, so if you want to take things out from a distance, you can do that quite easily. And as you're going to see with the Abaddon fight, if you want to take them out whilst they're rushing you, because it's got a knockdown effect and because you're able to upgrade it so that you can pull it off faster, a lot of times you can hit the enemies before they even make it to you and land an attack. A lot of fun if you want to follow it up with something else afterwards, maybe go in with a combo or go in with some of your burst skills later on or something like that. Or of course this would be amazing if you've got some kind of weaponry on you and you want to use that to hit them from range after you've knocked them away from yourself. Now over to our last but definitely not least skill and we're going to be talking about Shieldbreaker. Shieldbreaker does exactly what it says on the tin. 
and max that one of these fully upgraded in your skill tree will just absolutely melt any boss any enemy any type of thing in the game that has shields often with a single hit but if not two of these should pretty much do the job on almost anything this makes some of the really annoying enemies such as the crustacean types that you see here or some of the biggest baddest bosses around much much easier for how quick you're able to deplete their shield Remember, once the shield's gone, you're able to give them a lot more damage from any type of hits you're managing to land on them afterwards. And even though enemies do tend to get their shields back, as long as you're fast enough and you know exactly what you're doing, you should be able to take advantage of this and follow up with a lot of damage after their shields are depleted. One of the very best and most powerful skills in the game. The only thing is, you do have to stand still, so you may take a hit or two in the process, but ultimately, in the right hands, this is one of the most powerful skills and well worth using in a lot of situations. Now, like I said, I've been getting hands on with this game for a little while and probably spent way too many times fighting this boss. And after a lot of testing, I found that there was two ways to probably be best tackle any of the bosses you're going to be facing. And that was going to be one, to make sure you use your shield breaker in order to take off their initial shields. Make sure it's fully upgraded, of course. And then after that, go into a completely maxed out, fully upgraded slash. And this tended to do the absolute most damage possible on an enemy. Like I said, this was a bit of a surprise to me. I did not think that slash would do anywhere near as much damage as it did. But in fact, it turned out to be the highest damage skill currently for the beta skills available. Remember, this on a character that doesn't have much damage about himself, so if you've got them fully upgraded or you've grabbed a nice bit of damage as you're playing through the game, no doubt this will start making itself a lot more apparent. Or, of course, another really easy way to tackle bosses would just be to fully upgrade your triplet, go in, use a bit of stun on them, but the main thing you'll be getting from this will be to knock down the balance bar. Apologies, I've probably called this a stagger gauge, but it's actually known as a balance bar in this game. It's this right here underneath the enemy shield. And if you pair this with a few other things such as perfect parries, you'll be able to knock down enemies, no matter how difficult they are, and then go into a type of execute, enabling you to absolutely smash through their health. That would probably be the simplest and easiest way to take out most bosses. And like I said later on, if you're able to get any burst skills or other ways about yourself in order to do even more balance damage to your enemies, or just a massive amount of damage overall, then throw them into the mix and you'll have a lot of fun taking down the toughest enemies and hopefully not having too much trouble with it. But yeah, hopefully this helps a few of you guys and girls out. There's going to be a lot more Stellar Blade content away from me as I think this is an absolutely amazing game and I'm having a lot of fun playing it. But as always, for all things gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.